All right, so today is Sunday, September 19th, I think. I think Monday's the 20th. And um, I'm wearing my Be Still and No shirt because I've had a spiritual experience over the evening and I thought I would share it here. Yesterday, um, I opened up the home and I invited my sweetheart to come and have dinner here and watch football. We had um, wings and and just did something other than this church stuff we've been doing together. And it was nice. He brought me flowers. They're pretty. It's a daisy and a couple roses. And uh, food was good. Company was okay. There were some things he was doing that was driving me a little crazy. I have to admit. But it wasn't like a husband-wife thing. It was more like a friend thing or like a brother-sister thing. And uh, we went to the pool. And while we were in the pool, I... Um, talked to him a little bit about uh, making amends, that I wanted to make amends for anything that I might have hurt him. And uh, so I got that talk out. He, he didn't have anything specifically to share with me, but he did say that, um, you know, he was keenly aware that he needed to change some things for his own life and, and uh, that he does see a future for us and he would like to grow old with me and so he said a really nice things and his eyes were very clear and he could see me. He hadn't really looked at me for a very long time and he could see me and he was complimenting me, which is really, really nice because he hasn't seen me for a long time. And um, so then uh, when we were back here after the pool and the game was on, I just brought up the van and doing the van life and talked about a video that Natalie had sent me and stuff. And and he acted like he was in pain. And I said, what's going on with that? Tell me. And he said, I don't want you to leave. And I said, well, you know, even if, a as you go to heal yourself, I still want to leave. I don't want to be here in Florida for another summer. And when my lease is up in April, I, I do want to go. And I'd like to just um, be able to to stay, you know, help you along the way and let you be on your journey and let me be on my journey. And and if indeed um, I see some things change, you know, then I'll hold off on the divorce. But I, I, I need to go. I need to not be here. I can't I can't stay any longer. And I hope you understand. And he said he did. And I said, it's not like you can't come see me where I'm at or. You know and and we can talk and so that was good it was really good for us to have that discussion so he knew exactly where I was at um, and then so he left and we had nice words to say to each other there was a nice hug but there were no heartstrings that I felt I I can't speak for him um, but then uh, but there was no awkwardness either so this morning when I woke up I I felt the need to pray for myself. I do that often, and, and I know it might be selfish, but it's important. So I covered each part of my body in gratitude and, and uh, set the intention of my body to work well. And I will record myself doing that someday because I think it will really help people to understand what that is. But the next part was I... Um, I was keenly aware of God's presence and the need for me to understand or commemorate the covenant I have with Mark. And as I pray for my own body, I was able to pray for his body. And as I prayed for my own spirit, I was able to pray for his spirit. And as I was able to pray for my own needs, I was able to pray for his needs. And I had an image come to me, and that's the point of this video. I had an image come to me of us being little kids and um, we're at the throne. We're at the feet of our Abba Father, and we want to climb up in his lap, and we want to receive his blessings, but we can't. He can't. Mark can't because he hasn't taken his bath. He hasn't gone and cleaned up his sin, and he's unwilling to go. He's being obstinate, and he's causing a fuss because he's unwilling to go, take a bath, and get cleaned up so that he can come to his Abba Father. And I'm standing there, freshly bathed, in my white linen nightgown, 
wanting to go up together because we're together, we're covenant, we're together, and he won't go. He won't go get a bath. And that was so powerful because it speaks to the baptism. It speaks to the cleansing of the blood. It speaks to our own obstinance. It speaks to us just being unwilling to do the one thing that's necessary for us to come to the Father. We have to go and take our bath in the blood. We have to believe that the blood has power. We have to understand that the blood comes from the power and might of his son who died for us. And we have to receive it. We have to not be obstinate and we need to go and take our bath. And I was like, wow, that reminds me of when we're kids. And this went on for a long time, this image, and it was just beautiful. And at some point, perhaps, God will release me of that covenant so I can come up and be in his lap, which I do many, many times. Many times I've been in his lap, even seeing Mark sitting there with me and we're holding Jesus's hands and the Holy Spirit's wrapping us in a blanket and I can feel and smell the heartbeat of, of God and I can, I can smell him. He smells like fresh linen to me and gardenias and, and I can hear his heartbeat and I could hear his roaring breath and I could feel his beautiful um, beard and the power that comes from him and I can feel the strength of his of his legs underneath me and I can feel that Holy Spirit wrapping around and I can I can see Jesus in front of me and holding his hand and looking in his eyes and sometimes Mark's there with me sometimes he's not this is my own personal journey my own salvation we all got to work it out on our own but that's what happened yesterday, and it was very powerful. And so if you know that God that I'm talking about, please share it with me. And if you don't know the God I'm talking about and you want to talk, you want to learn more, let's just have a discussion. Let's just talk about it because I, my Abba Father is awesome, and he's alive, and he's here with me, and he, and he comforts me. And he's an amazing counselor. <laughs> I even talked about the fact that, you know, I don't need the one counselor or the other counselor. Not even my pastors. He's my, he's our, my good high priest. And, um, and while I do get so much from my counselors and my priests, and I know they're instruments for God working out my salvation, it's Jesus Christ directly directly that helps me so I just really wanted to get this on record because it was a beautiful 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 experience this morning and um, and I'm completely confident another thing that happened is he reminded me that in my 40s I'm 52 now so about 10 years ago I used to run I used to jog almost every morning and as I was out jogging I would use words of affirmation over Mark, how he was, how he is, and how he is to be. Over and over and over again, I would speak words of affirmation over my sweetheart. And um, God reminded me that those don't go, they did not go out void, that they, that they are real, that they are being heard, that the, this prayer this morning was being heard, that my body is in complete alignment, that he will bless me, that he will show me the way, that he will bring the van, that he will do whatever's necessary for me to be prosperous and, and loving and good. He, he, he said, all these things I'm going to give to you and more. And, uh, and so I, I really felt a good sense of living in the present. It's been a recurring theme throughout this whole thing, is to live in the present, not in the future, not in the past, right here and now, really love every moment of what's going on. And I do that really, really well because of the grace of God. I love the present. And, um, and time, time is so irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, he reminded me of that. That was 12 years ago. Hours and hours worth of affirmations over my sweetheart. And he was in the darkest place he's ever been then. Even darker than now, he was almost suicidal. So it's very interesting to me. And all I know is to love. When anything comes over me that's not love, I, I push it out. 
So have a wonderful day.